for this guided inquiry practice, um, we're going to be contemplating death. This um, this contemplation, this inquiry comes from Stephen Batchelor um, and his work in Buddhism Beyond Belief. And uh, the question or the inquiry as he poses it is, since death alone is certain and the time of death uncertain, what should I do? And you could say the core inquiry there or like the pith inquiry is what should I do? Um, the previous part is just a kind of, it's a setup, it's a proposition, it's a something put forward that's a universal truth put forward and then kind of like, okay, given this, what should I do? So we're going to work with this contemplation as a kind of inquiry practice. And I'd like to start um, by first coming into our bodies, into our physical experience. It's very different to do inquiry practice from an embodied place. So feel free to sit or be in a way that's comfortable for you. And I invite you to let your attention begin to settle downwards. Not scanning the body, but rather letting attention seep into this physical body. Dropping down through the upper body and arms and hands. Feeling the body from inside. And letting attention drop down into the abdomen, the lower belly. Noticing what you feel there. Feeling it directly. and dropping further down to the pelvis and legs, knees, all the way down through and in the feet. If you find it helpful, you can go further down still into the earth, to the ground. Letting your body extend downward toward infinity. Letting attention drop and a kind of free fall down. Feeling the whole body sitting, breathing, being. And throughout this inquiry, I'd invite you to notice when you lose the body, when you get caught in thoughts, and just see if you can return back to the body before you return to the inquiry, to the contemplation. So this is our starting point, our foundation. And then we can, from this embodied place, turn toward death. Since death alone is certain, the time of death uncertain, what should I do?
if you get lost or if the inquiry loses meaning or the questioning trails off, you can just come back to the inquiry, come back to the body, and then repeat, refresh the contemplation. Inquiring as genuinely as possible, since death alone is certain, and the time of death uncertain. What should I do? What should I do? Since death alone is certain, we know at some point we're going to die. And the time of death uncertain. We don't know what's going to happen later today, let alone how and when we'll die. So there's uncertainty. Since this is true, what do I do? What do I do? And here we can also let anything that comes up around this contemplation come up, trying to make space for the insights, the reactions, the contractions. So if anxiety arises in response to this contemplation, fear, confusion, doubt, We can also make space for those experiences. Feeling them in the body. Doubt is like this. Anxiety is like this. And now we've been taking this contemplation on the sort of personal individual level. 
my death is certain, a time uncertain, what should I do? Um, we can also take this contemplation on a collective interpersonal level since it's all things that are born, that are alive, which die from the human scale down to the bacterial fungal scale, life is born and dies. Even the universe itself, physical universe, appears to have been born And our best theories, best stories now about this are that it will also come to an end. So, since death alone is certain, and the time of death uncertain, What should we do? This planet itself will one day perish. And the sun gobbles it up or something else happens. Our environment and our climate itself might not be able to sustain certain kinds of life. Already, there are many species who are passing away. There is a recent report that just came out saying a million species look like they're going to go extinct in the coming years. Since death alone is certain, the time of death uncertain. What should we do? Again, letting whatever experiences arise, arise fully. Sadness is like this. Grief and tenderness are like this. Uncertainty is like this. Not knowing is like this. <laughs> 